Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Well, over at the DailySheeple.com, Piper McGowan wrote a great piece and I wanted to share this with you and I'm going to be doing an interview here soon with my good friend Popeye from FederalJack.com about this and other topics, but she, she writes, Bill Nye, the eugenics guy, wants to know, should parents be penalized for having extra kids? Now, mind you, there are a lot of... Um, there are a lot of countries right now that are having a population epidemic, meaning that they have their birth rates are so low that here soon they're going to have an issue um, with too many old people, not enough young people. Well, who's going to do any of the producing? I mean, it's really gotten to that point. If you take a look at birth rates, we are seeing in many countries, especially first world, crisis levels. Matter of fact, I think over in Thailand, they're actually trying to incentivize pregnancy. And it's crazy. But listen to this. She writes, The myth is that overpopulation is already starting to unravel before our eyes, just as predicted years ago. The propaganda will only work for the masses for a few more years before the mathematical reality will render it impossible to believe anymore. Birth rates have now officially declined below the necessary 2.1 replacement rate to maintain the population in most every developed country in the world with some Asian country birth rates now so low that their governments are attempting to pay the population to reproduce. China even relaxed its one child to two children policy now. So it used to be a one child policy, now it's two. See, they did the math. Now, she writes, enter Bill Nye the propaganda guy, as in Bill Nye the authoritarian car carbon tax guy, or Bill Nye the try the climate change deniers as war criminals guy. Or used to be friendly, bow tie wearing, rabid, anthropogenic climate change pusher, who's now casually discussing with the bioethics, bioethicists, on his new show, how people in less developed countries should uh, maybe be punished for maybe having extra kids. Nye asked one of the panelists on Tuesday's episode of his Netflix show, Bill Nye Saves the Earth, if it would be good a good idea to have the government penalized. Uh, people for having extra kids. I mean, this is crazy. Now, Nye asked Travis Ryder, an academic from the Berman Institute of Bioethics of John Hopkins University, sh quote, should we have policies that penalize people for having extra kids in the developed world? This is what he said, quote, I do think we should at least consider it. This is Ryder, who believes that limiting the size of families is paramount to fighting global warming. Folks, it's not man bear pig, okay? Man bear pig is not global warming. It's so much more than that. And I goes on to say, well, at least consider it is like, do it? I mean, what? Think, uh, you know, the type of penalization, she writes, that Nye's talking about is like the financial kind that makes climate change scaratologists like Al Gore richer and ultimately doesn't do anything to address the actual problem. You know, it doesn't address the environmental issues. It's just that the powers that shouldn't be rake in billions, if not trillions of dollars on a freaking hoax. When in the end, is it warming up? Of course it is. So is Mars. So is Jupiter. So is Saturn. So is every freaking planet in our solar system. Why, you ask? Because it's a cosmic thing. Now, that's not to say that we shouldn't be good stewards of the environment. Don't get me wrong. But look, at, we've had technology now for many a year that could have got us off of um, fossil fuels, that could have got us off of uh, different types of pollutants. But do we, do, do we use it? I mean, we, we could get rid of nuclear power. All we have to do is capitalize and utilize the technology that Tesla came up with, with all of these innovative people over the last 100 years that have come up with alternative forms of energy that don't pollute. But see, the problem is there's too much money in big oil. There are too many people that are employed. Why do you think government remains so large? The government remains so large simply because... <laughs> because if you got rid of all those people, why, it would hurt the economy. You'd have all these people unemployed. Look, I understand. I get it. And I'm sympathetic to that. There would have to be some sort of transition. However, I think we could do that. But let's get the ball rolling. You know? 
And instead, let's not transfer billions and trillions of dollars of wealth to people like Al Gore through Bill Nye as spokesman. I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable. If you haven't seen it, check out the series. I, and I hate to give this guy clicks and views and all that. Bill Nye saves the world. If anything, I mean, he. this is like, um, this is on the level of like Bernaysian programming. I mean, this is bad. Check it out. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the Daily Sheeple.com's news shot. It feels sick. Check out our uh, <laughs> comment on the YouTube channel here on the video below. And go visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.